This is it, people. Honor Among Thieves is the last of the original series. Let's do it. Made in 2005, which is one year after uh, the other one, too. Should be a good. A lot of crap just to get through the uh, main menu. Well, this is probably interest stuff anyway, so. Still, though. Uh, Main Island, South Pacific, 115. Ooh, and there's our grand hero. Okay, that, okay this really looks like Rayman 2, all the swirly leaves. Definitely Rayman 2 graphics. Oh, now I got elephant bat guards. Showing off the mechanics before I even do them. Sly Koopa, the thief. Don't need to fit in the whole screen because he's that awesome. So I'm assuming you still have the silent kill. That's very good. That's also kind of like Batman, the silent kill. Yep, do it. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. Oh, I guess it's like reunite with his crew. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I intend not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Huh? Oh, that sounds like Murray. Good time, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. Alright, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. Okay, well, Sly reunited with his team apparently. It looks like they got a whole new team. And judging by their shadowed appearance, it leads me to believe we cannot trust them. I mean, this is all too sudden, they look Agent too suspicious. Arnold, take up position for a Yank 86. Visual. Just like Ratchet, they don't deviate from mechanics. I admire that. Because I'm just. So, and Neon Pigmen, because I'm just so used to these. We've got an obstruction. Of stealth Peters from Family Guy. <laughs> I don't even remember that uh, little that little clip. All those Peters getting ready to kidnap that kid. Oh, that was awesome. The super an Asian gymnastics Peter hiding in crate as they sneak inside. All requesting door via Agent Monitor. Over. Launching and clear. Not anything but stealthy. I mean, really. Yeah, I can still run, Woot. Be advised, Paul is steering the lab. Agent Deep Six, are you ready? Sphere guard loaded. Um, one recurring thing about the slide villains, it's each member of the villain group is pretty ethnic. They're like from their own, they have their own ethnicity. And these guys, these guys are already sounding like the villains because they all sound pretty ethnic. Deploy. As racist as that sounds, but I'm just saying that's how they do things in this series. I've 
Everything full force fields down. Strong work, Deep Six. Every time. How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh, very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And your son, uh, what's his name, uh, Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too. Yeah. Shame you won't be seeing them again. Oh, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned a drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die any second. Oh. 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 Yes, what are we getting into the lab? I'm on my way down. Oh, then get a janitor for the lab elevator. Written to that sloppy. Oh, jeez. Someone's a dick. The Cooper vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot hall. Over. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Make this whole thing much easier. Oh, it's one of the spring pads from the crazy blip of hell. Standard Book of Codes, Chapter 45, Section B. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, so the ultimate purpose of the magic click stab. Probably gonna be many like that in this game. Cooper! You must be Sly Cooper, the new keeper of the cane. Oh, how I love this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the key to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine. Which now proves the key to the vault and open that key. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. <laughs> Let's regroup with the others. Oh, he's got a wheelchair now. That makes sense. Oh, he's like the uh, Carmelita Fox of this <laughs> level. Jump for it. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, it looked like I touched one of them, but it didn't hurt. I wanted to hit him and end the game. <laughs> oh, we've been late on this now. He's been through enough. We're almost home free! Okay, that's awesome. The boat's just up ahead! Yeah! Hey, that was surprising. <laughs> Help me out here! A little tutorial boss. It's not working. Save yourself. If yeah, he wants to so. eat, eat this. The vault. And there it goes. they always say. Your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. 
Hey. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. Clockwork. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations. Oh my god, it's so much sense. Each adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Uh. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. Da -da -da -da. Appears officially appears when I like quit or something. Two player. If we're gonna make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I bring this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right! Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, then we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Hey, 1%. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gang marker I'm projecting. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. Oh. I agree. Oh, yeah, Radio yeah. Holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence. I programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Hit the X the time while so that's a tutorial for the general hub world. <laughs> you know, I'm more than used to these in the second right, game. Then. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. 
To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Oh, so I still have the thingy. No, I don't. Glider thingy. No, I can buy that because that was really useful. Nice, one down. I also like the rollerblade thingy and the black hole silent kill thingy. <laughs> Good job, really Sly. Fun moves. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. <laughs> a page turner that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on the white as a feather using your ninja fire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. I know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. Yeah, it's the French world. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian Outback, where he studied a mystic art called the Dream Time from an Aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Oh, Octavio, Dale's Spanish This guy been. used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great man or But just as his career started to take off, musical taste changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. So basically, the whole game is a flashback. And the collectibles we're grabbing are members of our team. Of course, Murray, 
Murray was already in our team, gotta get him back, but we're gonna get whole new members, but those guys are all shadowed, so we don't know who they are yet. So I guess maybe they are allies, I still don't trust them. Still looks suspicious, right up the back. 4.36 a.m. Yeah, I usually play these games late at night. It's, it's uh, daytime now, but still. And all the slide does things late at night. This already looks like the first level from slide 2. So this is pretty much uh, slide 2, isn't it? Wait, wait, I want to see those items again. Yeah, the alarm clock will probably, probably need a smoke bomb. You didn't slide the alarm clock last time. Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks and bets. I have a different... Can't <laughs> use that obviously. And naturally, we must explore the world before we actually begin it. This is clearly taking out their uh, slide two. They might have the collectibles. Infamous chars he loves so much. Right off the bat, I do not see any, but I know they're here somewhere. Or do they decide to omit them entirely? So uh, that will be very disappointing. It's like a productive cause of exploring the world and, you know, getting adjusted to things, like what we'll be doing later on, you know? It's strange. Is there, like, really no, no jars collect in this game? That is so crappy, man. Foreshadowing? Oh, yeah. No jars, there might at least still be treasures, because that enemy had treasure. Yeah, but I don't want to yet. Huh. I'm, I'm starting to think there really isn't none. Sorry about that, man. Well, uh, all right then. Again, yeah, I should, but I shouldn't head to the waypoint anyway because of the treasure. Is it? Are there any treasure? That's the uh, next question. So we're all like stealth, stealth mechanics regarding the world's environment. Man, 
Now let's wait for Murray to actually give me the explanation on how to rob somebody. Yes, there isn't none. That mass of dope marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Yeah, I think I was just kind of up there. A lot. Not totally, but... Oh. Oh, thank you, convenience spring. First of all, without you. Fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Ah, uh, his poor accent died. Looking for me, man, Murray, eh? Sorry. Oh, Lord, I'd rather see you get busted big time. God! Police! Wait! Think something to keep them quiet. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Sleep! through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy Sorry. my macho frame. I'm packing too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you stick dudes. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it. Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in handcuff lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, please. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last few months. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion. Oh, so come on, Lita. we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get up. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Yeah, right. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. I do not like Better the Better make voice. sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. So these characters got new actors, and I don't like them. <gasps> Sly Cooper. Oh. I figured okay. you'd show up. Grab him, boys. 
I thought we like had to avoid those sparks or something. 